Hi friends, it's Amanda Miller. If you struggle with small hooded eyes like myself, watch this video. It's specifically for you. I'm gonna show you how to make your eyes pop, make them look bigger and rounder and make it the feature that stands out. So follow along and if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. With any eyeshadow look, no matter if you have hooded eyes or large eyes, it doesn't matter. You should always start out with a primer. Instead of carrying around an extra product, I personally like to use my highlight that I have in my mascara beauty kit, and I just apply a small amount of the highlight shade all over my lid. What that does is evens out the skin tone, it hides any veins, any pigmentation, and it will also help to work like a double stick tape. It'll stick to your skin and will also stick to the eyeshadow product. That way you don't have any creasing or movement of the shadow throughout the day. I like the color Sabrina or Rome out of the mascara collection. These have nice neutral colors. Here is Sabrina and there's Rome. So this one is a little bit more golden and this one has a, I don't know, a more neutral undertone. So I'm gonna use the color Rome. I'm just going to use a fluffy blend blending brush. This is the Eyeshadow Everything brush by Mascara. It's double-ended, it has the small end and it has a blending end. So I'm just gonna take the blending and lay my brush flat and do a little wiggle and then just apply this color all over my lids. Now, because we're going for an everyday and neutral look, I am going to apply a color that's a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. Well, it's a, a lot of shades darker than my natural skin tone, actually. It's called the color Basic. It looks so good on so many people, and it looks so complimentary with any eye shape. It's very, very perfect for every day. Now, because you have hooded eyes, or if you have small eyes, um, you're, you can't really see the color that's on your actual lid. So I'm going to take the fluffy, oops, fluffy brush, apply it to the side as well as the dome of the brush. And I'm going in my crease, but not just in my crease, I'm actually going slightly above my crease. And you go just back and forth in windshield wiper motion. So just back and forth, back and forth. I like to do a little swirl and then sweep it. Okay, so again, lay on the side and then lay on the dome part of the brush and then not just in your crease, but right above your crease. And what that does is allows your makeup to actually be seen. It'll make your um, eye look bigger. Okay, so now we're gonna carve out that actual crease. So in the socket of your eye, take the pointed end of the brush. I like to use the color Oak. This is also a great eye, um, eyebrow color. So take a little bit of this product, and you're gonna carve out your crease. So in that socket of your eyeball, you just line right in there. And what that does is gives dimension so it'll set that area back, bring this forward, and bring this forward, and make your eyes look bigger, and not hooded or sunken, or small, all of the above. So now that we have that carved out, go back to the fluffy end, pick up the basic color, and swipe back and forth. Okay, now you want to really highlight right under the arch of your brow and the inner corner of your eye. That will lift your eye and then bring that recessed area forward, giving the illusion of having a bigger, larger, more defined eye. So just take any kind of brush. I'm using the Multitasker by Mascara. I use this for my lips sometimes, sometimes for concealer, sometimes for contouring. It's multitask. So I'm just gonna take the small end, dip it in the color, um, Let's go ahead and use Sabrina. I'm gonna use a little bit of Sabrina and go right under the arch of my eye and that will pick up the light, 
give it a little bit of shine and bring that up, like lift it, lift up your eye. And then you'll also put it right in the inner corner of your eye just to brighten that up. And yes, I am aware that I need to wax my eyebrows. I'm actually in the process of growing out my brows so I can get a different shape of eyebrow. It's not that easy, let me tell you. But while we're talking about eyebrows with hooded eyes, let me show you this big, big trick. This is something that I learned on set whenever I was doing makeup for a TV show. Game changer. Okay, so you're going to take a, a brow brush. It needs to be a brow brush because you want the edge to be kind of dense and angled and then you need a little spoolie. Take the brush, put it in a little bit of shadow. I am, or any brow product that you use, I like everything, you know, multi-purpose and I like to keep everything condensed and easy so I use the mascara um, oak. You dip that in a little bit of product and then when you go to fill in your brows, let me grab my mirror, instead of dragging your brow down, you're going to bring your brow out. So you're gonna make your brow go a little bit more to the side rather than carving the brow completely down you're gonna go you're gonna go out and that will lift your eye instead of drag it down especially if you have hooded eyes so that is a quick little tip let me do that on this side So always keep in mind that you don't want to drag your face down, you want everything lifted. So to not pull them down will not drag your eyes down, so keep it out. You don't want to go up with your brows, but just keep it straight out rather than down. The next thing you want to always remember when you're done with your eyeshadow look is clean up underneath your eye. Now I already have my face makeup on, so if I didn't have my face makeup on and I did my makeup or I did my eyeshadow before my foundation, what I do is take a wipe, you can, you've seen it on past videos, I'm sure, I would just take a wipe and then clean up and make sure that you go up. You sweep up with everything. But since I have my makeup on already, I'll just take my brush, this is the Detail Hack Brush, and kind of sweep all that fallout. And then, I'll just take a little bit of my highlight color, this is Sunlit by Mascara, and I'll just kind of touch up just to brighten everything up. And then you want to make sure that everything goes up. <laughs> Especially with hooded eyes, because the more your eye is lifted, the more flattering it will be. Now using eyeliner to me is a complete personal preference, whether you have hooded eyes or not. Now. The best way to do it if you are looking for something very, very flattering is to just go on the outer edge of the eye. I like to take the Know Your Angles brush, the one that I use for my brows, and then apply a little bit of powder eyeshadow, which is, I like Salem by Mascara. I take a little bit of that and I just press it right on the outer edge of my eye. Now I already have mascara on, so that's giving the illusion of having eyeliner on with just, just the mascara. So I don't love this look by itself. I like to soften it just a little bit. So take your eyeshadow everything brush, the smaller end, and go back to that color basic. Take a little bit of that and then softly run that along the lower lash line to soften that black. It gives a nice smoky eye. And then if you want to line the top, I go in the same Know Your Angles brush, a little bit of the Salem, and then I press it right along my lash line. Okay, 
Okay, so that's it. I lined my eyes. Now don't forget your mascara. Mascara will open up your eyes just by making your lashes look longer and darker. Don't forget top and bottom because that'll give a more rounded effect, especially when you have hooded eyes. I hope that you can do this too, and if you do, Make sure you send me pictures. I love to see when people follow along with my videos and what they look like. That just makes my heart sing. So make sure you send them. Make sure that you comment below if you have any suggestions on what I should do next. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon. Bye.